CNBC. My question is for NDRC Chair Zheng Shenjie. The government work report announced a target for this year of GDP growth around 5%, while several international institutions have said that China's GDP will likely grow around 4.5% this year. What's your view on China's economy in the year ahead? What are the major drivers that can help China achieve this growth target? And how can they offset any drags? Thank you. 美国消费者新闻与商业频道记者提问：我的问题提给郑主任。政府工作报告将今年中国经济增长预期目标设定为百分之五左右，而一些国际机构的预测则为百分之四点五左右。您如何看待今年中国经济形势？支撑中国经济
which increased by 5.8 percent, 0.6 percentage point faster than overall economic growth. So all these three indicators and the figures um, and tell us that uh, the economic structure is going to be further improved going forward. Thirdly, on uh, qualitative indicators, new progress was made improving the quality of economic development, where well, this can be seen in four aspects. First, on scientific and technological innovation, uh, R&D intensity rose to 2.64%. And total IND investment was uh, 3.3 trillion yuan. And well, this IND intensity was 0.08 um, percentage points higher than the previous year. And that equals to 250 billion yuan of uh, IND investment, which is indeed uh, no mean feat. And in the meantime, we could see that major innovation results kept emerging um, throughout the year, and they were encouraging news um, throughout the year as well. On new growth drivers, last year China produced and sold 9.5 million new energy vehicles, growing by over 35 percent. Production of uh, lithium-ion batteries went up by 25 percent, and production of uh, solar panels increased by 54 percent. Exports of these three major products, known as the new trio, rose by nearly 30 percent. And I want to mention in particular that um, the export of new energy vehicles last year totaled 1.2 million units, up by 77.6 percent, ranking the first in the world. And the surge in export of new energy vehicles also made China the largest exporter of new vehicles, new vehicles in the world. Well, this shows that uh, we are making faster progress in transitioning from the old a model of growth to new growth model, and high quality development has created uh, new competitiveness for Chinese producers. On ecological environment, emissions of major pollutants kept falling, and the quality of ecological environment has steadily improved. And there are ample figures in the report on the draft plan for national economic and social development. On secure development, we ensured effective protection of economic security and overcame the impact of disasters such as pre-harvest rain in the middle of the year and um, floods in the third quarter. With the help of advanced grain cultivation technologies, grain production hit a new high last year, reaching 695 billion kilograms. In the meantime, resolution of security risks in key areas also made steady progress. All this demonstrates that we are making new progress in seeking coordinated progress in higher quality development and secure development. And these are the achievements we have made over the past year, um, which have indeed not come by easily. And secondly, in terms of the future trend of growth, uh, looking ahead, there will be more favorable conditions than unfavorable ones for China's economic growth in 2024, and the momentum of economic rebound will be further consolidated and reinforced. We have strong underpinnings in place for the economy in both short- and long-term cycles. So let me explain this from four perspectives. Well, firstly, the foundation of uh, development is firmer. Again, three points. Point number one, the new, development, the new pattern of development is being formed at a faster pace. China now has a 126 trillion yuan plus economy and a supersized market, which is one of the biggest resources uh, for China. 
and development between urban and rural areas is getting more balanced. All this promises huge market opportunities and development potential. We will continue to improve business environment and expand high standard open uh, open up which will not only facilitate domestic circulation, but also contribute to the domestic international due circulation. This will generate a lot of business opportunities for Chinese investors, and also massive business opportunities for visionary multinational corporations and international investors. Point number two, we are advancing high quality development on all fronts. China has a complete industrial system, a rich reserve of high quality human resources, and a full fledged network of physical and institutional infrastructures. Our innovation capa capability is rapidly improving. New growth drivers are being formed and nurtured at a fast speed. And the shock absorbing capability and resilience of the Chinese economy are strengthening. And point number three, we are forging ahead in comprehensively deepening reform, and the internal dynamism of development is constantly increasing. All this has firmed up the foundation for consolidating the current momentum of economic rebound and securing a favorable long-term prospect of economic growth. Secondly, macro policies are being applied with greater intensity. Building on the vigorous implementation of macro policies and the combination of policy steps taken last year, we will continue to enhance macro regulation. Increase coordination of fiscal, mandatory employment, industrial and regional development policies and a step up efforts to boost the real economy, stimulate consumption, increase foreign investment and stabilize foreign trade. We will introduce new policies, including promoting large-scale equipment retrofitting and consumer goods replacements, and issuing ultra-long special treasury bonds. Meanwhile, previously adopted policies, including additional treasury bonds, cuts of interest rate and uh, required reserve ratio and tax and fee reduction, are starting to pay off. Together, they will provide strong driving force for ensuring steady economic growth. We will counter potential unpredictable factors externally with our own certainty and predict predictability. Thirdly, localities across the nation are working more actively to promote development. You may have noticed that all the 31 provinces, autonomous regions and municipalities had held their own two sessions before the Spring Festival. We have combed through the economic targets set by various localities for this year and found that most of the provinces have set a higher growth target than the growth they actually delivered last year. And 23 provinces have set a target that is higher than the national target. We believe that um, these targets have been set uh, based on the assessment of the local situation and the consideration of various macro and the micro factors by the local governments. And we can also see that uh, all localities are fully motivated in doing their work. Fourthly, favorable factors keep building up. Entering the new year, the Chinese economy has sustained its momentum of recovery and growth, with rapid increase in, land in leading indicators such as quantity of goods produced. There are three indicators that I want to mention in particular. One is electricity generation. Because last year, Spring Festival was in January, and this year was in, it is in February. So to make the figures and data statistics more comparable, we are making a comparison uh, of uh, electricity generation in the first two months of the year. So in the first two months of 2024, electricity generation nationwide increased by 11.7%. 
and uh, also according to customs uh, statistics, exports in the first two months also increased by about 10%. And uh, the balance of uh, medium to long term loans uh, by 20 major banks increased by 31%, which is uh, much faster than uh, the all types of loans in the same period. And consumption in culture, tourism, and catering sectors was booming. During the Spring Festival, the number of tourists on domestic tours increased by 34.3% year-on-year, and it also went up by 19% compared to the same period of 2019 before the pandemic on comparable terms. Well, the second group of indicators is about business operation. In February, production and operation expectation index of the manufacturing sector was 54.2 percent, and the business activities expectation index of the non-manufacturing sector was 57.7 percent. These two figures are both very important uh, because both of them uh, are in remained in the expansionary territory. So in view of the above, a good start can be well expected in the first quarter. That said, we are sobly aware that in striving to meet the set goals, we will have to overcome quite a lot of difficulties, such as the complex, such as the uh, more complex and grave external environment, the outstanding challenges in the building of a unified national market, abnormally fierce competition in certain industries and difficulties faced by some companies in their production and operation. And there are also um, risks and uh, hidden dangers in certain sectors and areas. But I think it's normal and natural to have these problems. And I should say that these are all problems in the course of moving forward, and they can be resolved through development. We are confident and convinced that under the strong leadership of the Party Central Committee, with the Comrade Xi Jinping at the core, and with the concerted efforts of all localities, departments, and all types of business entities, we have the confidence, capacity, conditions, and resourcefulness to promote the sustained recovery and the long-term growth of the Chinese economy and accomplish all the goals and the tasks of economic and the social development set for this year with high quality. Thank you.